This is Band of Brothers Season 1 Episode 2 and it's called Day of Days, which means something memorable is going to happen in this episode in a day. It will happen in one day. The first episode I really liked. I very much enjoyed it and normally, like I said, it can take me a while to get into it. It can take me a while to get used to all the different characters and I don't always enjoy the first episode but i did i did so i'm very much looking forward to watching this one and i think we're just gonna watch it because if i talk the more i talk the longer it takes to watch and i just went to watch so you like this video you subscribe you comment you post notifications and you patreon and if you can do all those things then you are the best and let's just play band of brothers season one episode two called day of days and play I'm feeling very emotional already. Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg. Did I know that? Did I know that already? And our brothers. <laughs> I love that. Talk about just from the shock of the opening. Uh, it just flew right off my foot. I love this bit, hearing their stories. Each man was preparing himself mentally to make that jump. I would have to just not even think about it. We lost a lot of people that night. You try to put it all out of your mind. Oh, don't cry. Oh, don't cry, please. That's so sad. Yeah, you have to just not think about it. The more you think, that's what, that's the problem when you start to think too much. I hate seeing grown men cry. Oh yeah, this was the end of the last episode. Did we figure out how long they were going to be in the plane for before that to jump? That would be the worst bit. Everyone seems pretty calm. And I think they said in the last episode that if you don't jump it the first time, then you don't get another chance. That's you out. That would be horrible. Oh, is it thunder? I thought it was... I thought they were hearing bombing. One okay. We're all good to go. Oh, they are. They are under attack. I thought they just hit like a storm. Whoa! Yeah, I, go as quick as you. Holy crap! Oh. Oh my god, I would have jumped like as soon as I heard the first ones. Oh, this is hard to see. I can't see what's happening. Oh my god. Yeah, oh no. Why, why can't they jump at that speed? Does, does the plane have to be going a certain speed before they can jump? Uh, a certain slowness so they can jump? Because you would think once they got out and they were in the air, then they would, it would just be the same. Or they might actually, they might not manage to get out. They might hit themselves against the door or something. Shit. I don't think that's the correct reply to say thunder. Yes, sir. Thunder, sir. Not shit. <laughs> Who's that back? Right, so now what? What's what do you have to do now? Follow me. Okay. Okay. I'm following. Oh, so looks like there's someone right there. Oh well, there's someone right there, I just saw him. Do you have a weapon, sir? Just my knife. Just your knife. So you're a radio man. Well, I was until I lost my radio on the jump. I'm sure I'll get chewed out for that. What? Why? You can't help losing ends on it while you're jumping. He must have lost his gun. Locate some landmarks to get our berries. Trees. We've well, got plenty of trees. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like big ass trees? We're not lost, Brian. We're in Normandy. Still a little bit lost, though. It's going to be hard finding all your own people. 
Thunder. The winners? Is that you? You have to say thunder. They didn't do it. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh. 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 What? What was that thing he had on the map? About seven kilometers away from our objective. You men will stick with us until we find your unit. <laughs> Are you all going to head in the same direction? Flash. Thunder. thunder. Oh yeah, flash thunder. I thought it was thunder flash. Or can you do both? You found quite a lot of yous because yous were all really spaced out. You've done well so far. Light it. Go. Guard here. It's really dark. It's hard to see what's happening. I don't think you were supposed to do that. The horses. Garnier. I think yeah, I think they're all gone now. Everyone okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was silly. Next time I say wait for my command, you wait for my command. Yes, sir. Oh Jesus Christ! Poor horses. Crow with it. That was stupid. What's that guy's problem? Gonorrhea. Really? His name, dummy, Garnier. Gonorrhea. Get it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> None of your f***ing business, cowboy. All right, let's move out. Sir. He's in a bad mood. That's what's wrong with him. Oh, the poor cow. Oh, God. Is he still alive? Oh. Anybody need supplies or ammo? Now's the time to get it. Oh, that's... I guess that's what you have to do, but still, that's sad. Right on time. Yeah, tell that to him, cowboy. My name's Hall. That's so. You're annoying. Where are you from, son? Eugene, Oregon. My family answered the call. All true Aryans should return to the fatherland. Really? I didn't think that's how it worked. What got you to Eugene? I was born in Eugene. <laughs> wow. Hey, Popeye! Oh, that's all dead horses. I don't like that. And this year's Hall, Abel Company. Known as Cowboy. He's not known as Cowboy at all. Just a hold up. But... Oh, there he is, the guy from Desperate Housewives. What's the situation? Oh, not good. 90% of the men are still unaccounted for. N 90? Did he say 90%? We're waiting all of you. Yeah, I'm coming. I'll see you around. Yeah. See you around. See you around. Mmm. <sighs> Danke. Oh, oh, I did wonder why they were all getting cigarettes. Yeah, shit, that's, uh, yeah, bugger. I feel like I might cry. Did they, do, do you think they knew that they were going to die or do you think they just thought they were going to be prisoners? Now they're right between us and causeway number two. Think he's gonna handle it? Yes, sir. Of course they can. How many crowds do you think we're facing? No idea. No idea. Oh, there's Bound to be heaps. Compton, Malarkey, Toy, Garnier. We'll be making the main assault. Okay, okay. Understood? Mm-hmm. I think so. Shouldn't you be outside with the other Able Company guys? See you around, all. What, was there no more Able Company guys? Was he the only one? Compton, second squad. Yes, sir. All right, you heard the word. Let's move. Let's move. Okay, let's do it. I'm so scared for you all. Imagine how many guns and like bullets and shells and stuff would be left and they ha still haven't been found yet. MG forty ties. Oh, they're so close. Take two men and hit them from the left. Okay, go. <gasps> I want that TNT as soon as you see we've captured the first gun. Go. God, I'm, I'm so scared. It's so tense. <laughs> oh yeah, up in the trees. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Oh, he sees you. Oh. Quick, they see you. I, would, I don't think I would ever think to look up in the trees. What the hell does that mean? I don't know what that meant. Oh, it bloody worked. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, shit. Go, 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 go. go. <laughs> Ooh. 
that was close. Oh, someone got shot. Your ass. Did he say my ass? Is it in his foot? Whoa! He's gonna get away. Okay, it's not the best shot, but it's fine. Oh, grenade! It's landed right there! It's landed right there! Ah! How did Texas PP was still there? <laughs> Bloody hell, there's two right there. Where you hit, Pop? I can't believe I'm fed up my ass! My ass! How bad is it? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to fuck up. I don't, I don't think it's too bad. Where is it? In the cheek or up the bum? You can make it back for something, so, sir. It must be in the cheek. I think he's fine. One o'clock! He dropped it! He dropped it! What happened? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Right. That's so full on. There's so much happening. What's he trying to say? Oh yeah, bugger. What was he trying to say? Must be doing something right. Look! God, I'm so confused. I'm firing on the third gun. Okay, I have come to the conclusion that I would be absolutely useless in war. Well, at least he ran like that. That's the best way to do it. I would know to do that. You think this is a ticket home? Maybe. I just got here. If you get shot in ass, does that mean you get to go home or is that not enough? And TNT! I've got TNT, sir! Good job, Tony! It's so loud, I don't think I would hear what they're all saying. They're all so brave. Did that work? I don't think that worked. It did. It did work. But where did that go? Third gun here! Lorraine, grab some more of those potato mashers and follow me! Oh, it was to... Oh, got it. It was to break it. It wasn't to... Yeah, yeah, okay. I thought it, they were trying to fire the TNT at them, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was just to break the gun. Got it, got it. Think you got enough to take the third gun? We'll soon find out, Jack. Malarkey, let's go! We'll soon find out. That's the best way to think. How many was there? Three? Holy crap. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wondered what happened there and now I know. Yeah. Ouch. Kidding! It's back down away! Do we know it? Ah! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Oh. Oh, Jesus. I need it in the next gun. I just blown time to pull up. Is there just one left then? MG first. Fall back to your original positions. There must have been like thousands of Germans because they just keep coming. Oh, oh, oh. I, oh, I can't. <sighs> It's so hard to just quickly see if it's one of your people or not because I would like, I, I would have to double check before I shot anyone and then that means I would get shot. I would be no use. Wow. That is huge. <gasps> Look at the blood. Most of the 101st Airborne, including Easy Company, was still scattered all over Normandy. Yeah, I did think that. We had an hour to rest and scrounge whatever food we could before we had to move south. Scrounge food from where? No one would have in the back of this damn truck as well. Jesus! Let me out of here. Because <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> oh, I dread to think what that is. Oh. I bet they would just eat anything though at this point. <laughs> Evening. Hello, sir. Something dying here? Yeah, someone's ass dead. Any word on Lieutenant Mann yet, sir? No, not yet. Don't that make you our commanding officer, sir? Yeah, it does. Is that what he wants? Oh, the Lieutenant, don't drink. It's been a day of firsts. It's been a day of days. Not a Quaker. 
<laughs> I know what a Quaker is. You might guess the can, he's probably a Mennonite. What's a Mennonite? I don't know what that is. <laughs> the map you found, that had every crop gun in Normandy on it. Oh, that's good then. I lost a man today. He's a good man. Not even old enough to buy a beer. Oh, really? I think that makes it even worse when they're so young. I sent that map up to Division. I think it's going to do some good. Oh, it will. Oh, that's a waste. Give it to someone. Plus, you should all be eating after the day you've had. You pass out and you're no use to anybody. Whoa. I promised God and myself that I would find a quiet piece of land someplace and spend the rest of my life in peace. Sounds amazing. See, when he was watching the, all the shooting and there was like that thing going up at the side into the air. Oh, wow. Popeye. Winters. Yep. Of course it was. Really? That's awesome. That's awesome. And you're not... Oh, you are. You're finishing. God damn it. Yeah, I was asking. What was being shot up in the sky on the left-hand side of the screen? Because that looked like a computer game. It didn't even look real. It was like... um. Remember that one with the, it was like spaceships and you went along the bottom and you shot up. It was like that. Well, that was another amazing episode. It's so sad, so, so sad. I am loving watching these because it's given me an insight into the, the happenings of the war and how, like I wouldn't even have guessed about the whole, uh, what did they call it, airborne, when they're jumping out the planes and then I still don't understand Oh, maybe because if they can't get in, like, if, it, if everywhere's surrounded and they just can't get in on land, that would be the reason for coming from above. Ah, and that's why they were all getting shot down because they were like, well, yeah, we don't want you coming from above because then that's us buggered. Interesting. Although it's still very hard to imagine what it would be like being in war and I suppose it doesn't matter how much you try and prepare because like it could happen obviously it could always happen and you could try and prepare for it I don't think anything can prepare you for it like it's it's we we have different people now we don't have the, the old generation where they're all tough and it's a different breed they're all a different breed that's why I love old men because they're just fearless and they're and they've lived their lives like crazy lived their lives and we our generations just now are just well you know but but i will say that some people are per, pe some people are wired differently and are still like that still very tough very fearless i don't even know if the, it's not even fearless it's like they know how to get the job done and they don't moan about it. And there are, there are, because I know I have met them. <laughs> I think it depends how you've been brought up. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It depends. I don't know what it depends on. It's inside you and it's obviously not inside me. Well, we might find out. I might um, rise to the occasion and, and be best and, and not be scared and not hide in a tree. and managed to figure out who I'm shooting and who I'm not shooting. You never know. It might come, it might happen. I wonder if there's like a way to get some kind of training to be prepared. Like you get wilderness training so you can learn how to like build a fire and a tent and stuff and protect yourself in the wild. I wonder if there's a way to be able to know how to protect yourself in war that wait i'm gonna google that i want to know also like what kind of first aid kit would you need because it would have to be like a whole suitcase full of stuff maybe i'm thinking about it too much is anyone prepared for war <laughs> does anyone have like bomb shelters and stuff in their houses i feel like that would be a common thing especially in america and like I, well, I know. I know of one anyway. I won't say who it is because you'll judge me that I know that person, but I know of one that has a bomb shelter and are prepared for fallout. They are very, very prepared, but I don't think they are prepared in themselves, so I don't think they'll last very long. 
that no that's horrible say i can't say that but if you knew who it was i was talking about that you would agree <laughs> well that's it the end of season one episode two i know i keep saying season one it just rolls off the tongue better if i just say brand of brothers episode two then it doesn't sound right but yeah that was that was the day of days it's going to be very very interesting to see the next episodes and i can't wait for that and i hope you are here to join me and if you are not then you should be so please subscribe and then you can be here and then get that post notifications on so you can also be here the fastest and then also like did i say like i didn't say like and also comment and then patreon do all that fun stuff you know what to do and that's it for me today thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye